If you've got a guard here in the action spot that you think can post, you can send them to the block. This is some Princeton type stuff. You throw behind, turn, post, enter the ball right there to the block to a guard. Now you've got a guard, a playmaker, five feet from the rim where he can facilitate for himself. You've got good spacing here. Get it to the paint, get it to the midline, look to spray it out either side. Now you've taken inverted your offense. You've got the big lifted out here. So he should have a chance, a better chance, to try to score around the rim. So we would call that a guard post. You can let the two guards split with each other, which is another Princeton. It just turns into a low split. So he's got the ball. He comes down. If he's starting to cut and he does not see his man between him and the basket, it's an automatic cut to the rim. Once he stops his feet, now it's on two. He can back cut, he can curl it, or he can come into a straight where we get almost a double DHO right there. So that's another way to distort it a little bit more. Teams that like to point switch it, and we've gone against this quite a bit. So the best, the most effective way to guard this offense is on the back cut, he stays high. On the fill, he takes that, he takes the back cut, and they never have to move. One great thing about how we've been running our stuff, we have found, is that it's very hard to play that way against us because you don't know what this guy in the action spot is going to do. So it just forces you to play it straight up. 